just for the privacy of this. Where, where are the people? Nowhere. There are no people. Okay. <laughs> All right. The buns are on people, so you know that means business. I am stoked to be sharing with you how you can experience Iceland's iconic Blue Lagoon practically to yourself, which is unheard of for many people because if you've been to the Blue Lagoon, you know that it can get a little crowded. They do regulate how many people can go in there, but still getting shots or just relaxing in the mineral rich, icy blue water is often something that people are not able to do almost by themselves or maybe even by themselves completely. But I have a solution for that. And this is not a sponsored video, by the way. And I have a story that I do want to share with you that's very personal and sweet that kind of explains why I'm in the situation in which I can showcase this hotel that I'm staying into along with this experience. However, you know, if you want to fast forward to the part where I'm showcasing the lagoon itself, feel free to do that. But if you want to hear the story that is super sweet and also see a bit of the room that I'm in right now, stay for a minute or two while I just kind of give you the background because I'm just feeling so appreciative and excited about sharing. For those who don't know, my name is Jules. Welcome to All Things Iceland. And I've been living in Iceland for over seven years now. Last month was my seventh year anniversary. And today, when I'm filming this, is July 18th, which is my late father's birthday. So my dad died when I was 20 years old, which of course is very devastating to my family to Mimi, my mom, who was married to him, my sister, and all the other individuals that are part of our family. And this was, of course, transition in life. Not knowing that like 17 years later, I would be in a hotel room celebrating his birthday in one of the most iconic places, attractions in Iceland. So in essence, the story works out in that a follower of mine named Jana, so shout out to Jana and Adam, her husband. So Jana reached out to me uh, to let me know that she had booked a room at the Silica Hotel and she wasn't able to make it. They were going to Scotland, they had planned on staying over in Iceland, however, that was not possible or working out in the plan. The room though for here is non-refundable and she was like, when she reached out, that she doesn't know anybody in Iceland but me, <laughs> in terms of knows of me. And they watch my videos, so hi. <laughs> and she wanted to offer it to me because, you know, the room would just sit there. And I was like, first of all, wow, that is extremely generous of you, you and your husband to do that because you don't have to. And yes, I would love to. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was just so ecstatic. And you know, the date when she said it, it kind of clicked in my mind, but not the like immensity of it, right? And there's a part why as to, you know, when I get to why this all kind of synchronistically comes together in a beautiful way. So I ended up telling her after, you know, everything was confirmed that like, hey, you know, first of all, I'm very, very grateful and this is extremely generous of you, thank you. As well as this day, July 18th, is my dad's birthday and I just think it's really cool because he had died when I was 20. I don't know why I had to say he died when I was 20. I could have just said, you know, he had died and that was it. But obviously I was meant to say that because she then came back and said, well, you know, that is, that is prov providential, I think she said, which I, you know, don't normally hear that, see that word being used, but she said it was providential and that her dad had died when she was 20. And I was like, Whoa. Okay, everyone believes in different things. I'm a more spiritual person and I believe in synchronicities. I am not the person that's just like, it's just a coincidence. It's like, no, I think a lot of things are linked. And I just found it extremely cool that, you know, we have that in common. This is my dad's birthday when this is happening. My dad also being a person who really did like the finer things in life and him and my mom were just so in love. And also he would, you know, take my mom to places like this, whatever he could afford for her because he always wanted to make sure she had like the coolest experiences, coolest clothes. And you've seen videos of my mom. If you haven't, 
I'll have a link down in the description box of my mother who is fabulous. So of course my dad always wanted to make sure she felt fabulous and instilled that in us too, you know, it's like really enjoy life and these different experiences. So it also really linked up nicely that I'm at this lovely luxurious hotel on his birthday. So happy birthday to my late dad and happy birthday to you if your birthday happens to fall on this day too. So yeah, that's the story. I'm in my robe and everything because I'm gonna go into the lagoon, the private lagoon that comes along with this hotel. And that's what I'm getting at, as well as show you around the hotel itself because it is beautiful. In this room, this room is, is it, okay? The room itself, even without the private lagoon, is awesome. And just to mention the kind of other amenities that come along with it, so you do get a complimentary drink with your stay. There is not a restaurant in this hotel, but they have, there's not a restaurant for like dinner. They serve breakfast that comes along with the room too, but you can get a reservation at the Lava restaurant and they'll do that, or the Moss restaurant, which is now a Michelin star restaurant. And I haven't been to the Moss restaurant yet. I'm really looking forward to do that, doing that in the near future because they're the only Michelin star restaurant in Iceland that has a vegan menu. Like, it's bizarre. There are three Michelin star restaurants in Iceland now and only Moss, as of right now, has a vegan set menu. So they're, you know, after my heart, clearly. <laughs> and I do plan to go there. So yeah, and then the private lagoon, there are some drinks that were in the fridge here too. In addition to the private lagoon, if you want to experience the blue lagoon, the you know iconic location that everyone else is going to, you have access to that too. So you can have your own private spot and then you can go to the bigger one. I can already tell you right now that I, I've been to the bigger one and the idea that there's a private one it already beats it. I don't even have to go. I can already tell you it's gonna be amazing. But I will show you <laughs> what it actually looks like and you can judge for yourself. Let's get to exploring this awesome hotel and private lagoon. When you drive to the Silica Hotel, this is what it looks like from the road. And then when you pull up, here is the front of it. And as I went in, I just got a few shots of what it looks like in the lobby, which you can see it's like very modern and clean. And you can immediately see the private lagoon. So that's the area there that is only for the hotel guests. And of course, lounging areas. Here's me walking through the hallways. So there's like lava rock lining the walls and glass, lots of bright light getting through. There's even a lava rock that's included inside of the hotel that's just naturally part of the surroundings. And I was in room 28, if people were just curious. So getting into the room, and this is my favorite part for sure. So in this room, you have like your own little patio space where you can go outside and actually just look at the lagoon. You can't swim in this one, but it's still really beautiful just to go and sit out there. It was a bit windy, so I didn't open the door for that matter, but here's the room and then the bathroom, which was also you know, similar to the rest of the hotel, very modern, clean, and you know, enough for two people. I was only staying there by myself, so it's great for me. And then getting my drink, complimentary drink that goes along with your stay. And it's just really beautiful just to look out at the water before I got in, <laughs> have a little fun. And then I proceeded to enter the lagoon. Basically, I mean, obviously there are other people staying at the hotel, but I pretty much have it, this little area, to myself, which is amazing. And there's a place where you can go and get masks instead of actually having to wait in line or being doled out how much mask you can get. You just get as many as you like. Isn't that nice? This white silica mask is the classic mask for the Blue Lagoon. And as I had mentioned, there's multiple masks. At the larger Blue Lagoon, where most people end up going, you are just scooped a certain amount. Whereas here, like I mentioned, you have 
the amount that you want. You can put it on, wash it off, put it back on again. Granted, I mean, it is good for your skin, but too much of anything is probably not great. But here I am just putting it on just to show you what the classic one looks like. I did end up using all of them and each of them has like different properties in it. One's more moisturizing than the other, but it was just really fun. And here is the lagoon, the private lagoon of the hotel, like I mentioned, empty. I was there maybe like 7 p.m., from 7 to 8 or 9. And obviously it can vary depending on what the other guests want to do. But I was really surprised at how big this is and also how empty it was. Okay, so it's basically just been me and maybe like 200 people. There was a family earlier, but they left. I have this whole thing to myself right now, okay? This thing is really large. So this is a 35 room hotel. So that means there's like a max of like 70 people who stay here. And this is a nice, lovely, amazing facility. The staff is of course super friendly. It's beautiful. The lagoon is so quiet. It's open until 10. If you want to go to the original Blue Lagoon to experience that, you have premium access there. Well, I have been there um, and it could be nice to experience it. Why not? I wouldn't need anything else. Like this, this is it, okay? Like just for the privacy of this, where, where are the people? Nowhere. There are no people. Okay. Uh, just for the privacy of this, that this hotel room alone is worth it. This is amazing. So shout out again to Jana and her husband, Adam. They were supposed to be celebrating their anniversary. They went to Scotland. I hope they had an amazing time. I sent them a message already because I was just like, I'm so grateful for this. And to be able to share this too, because there are people who are wondering. They want to experience the Blue Lagoon. They want to have a more unique experience in the Blue Lagoon. And this is not sponsored, obviously, like I mentioned. Whew, baby, this is cool. I, <laughs> totally worth it, thousand percent. 20 out of 10. That's my new rating scale whenever I love something. 20 out of 10. 10 10's no longer just enough. <laughs> love it. And of course, there's silica in the water everywhere. So, it's good for your skin. Now, super cool to be sitting here. I just, I don't know what to say. I'm really loving this. It's interesting. I mean, I've, I've been living in Iceland for seven years, so. Obviously, I've experienced a lot of amazing things, and it's really cool to kind of get to play tourist in places I've never been or that are new or whatever in order to experience it and really give my genuine opinion, especially since it's not like a job, right? This is purely for my enjoyment, and I just thought sharing with everybody would be fun, especially if I, I liked it. And yeah, I love it. After I got out of the lagoon, I just did a little bit more recording of the lounge areas I hadn't shown yet. So you can see there's a lot of space to just relax. That's another thing I really like about this place is that it is really all about chilling. But if you want to get a workout in, for instance, they do have a workout room with some limited equipment in there. But it's definitely fine for people who are like on vacation and just want to get a little pump or a run or whatever. So that's something that's nice. I find it really cool how they have the lava rock built inside. So they just, you know, it's, it's just part of the <laughs> natural beauty of the building. It's super cool. I ended up staying up quite late. This is around three o'clock in the morning, but look at the colors of the sun having gone a bit below the horizon. And you can see the sky is still really bright at this time. And this is literally just on the balcony right outside of my room. Breakfast in the morning was a lovely spread. They even had vegan yogurt, veggies, fruits. They also had a delicious gluten-free bread that was vegan. I ended up forgetting to tape like what I had so my bad about that but if you ask the wait staff they're great about pointing out all the vegan options so if you've enjoyed seeing how you could pretty much have the blue lagoon to yourself or at least as a portion of it to yourself or very few people for that matter I mean right now it's, there's literally nobody else around me it, it's me <laughs> it's probably like eight o'clock at night it's just me chilling out in here, having a fabulous freaking time. 
definitely give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this, learning more about it. I am incredibly grateful to Jana and Adam. And I hope that they get to experience it when the next time they're able to come to Iceland and they had an amazing anniversary in Scotland. And yeah, I just feel like a big kid having a great time relaxing, sharing with you. Hi, everybody at home. <laughs> Definitely put this on your list. Obviously, the price tag comes along with the amenities. That's just a part of it. It's a lovely hotel. But like I said, 20 out of 10 just for this aspect of it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next adventure.